everything you need to know about eyes. Hey everyone, it's Alexa, back with another video. Most of us humans have eyes, as do most of the species of animals we're all familiar with, but how much do we really know about them? We know we use them to see, and most of us have a pretty good idea of our own eye color, but our knowledge basically stops right around there. Here, we'll delve into the eyes and all that comes with them, and trust us, they're more fascinating than you think. This is everything you need to know about eyes. But before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon to be notified of all of our upcoming videos. They work a lot like a camera. If you know anything at all about cameras, you'll know that they let light in and focus it onto a photosensitive surface. That too is how eyes work. Light floods into the eye and is focused on your retina, allowing you to see. In fact, the eyes are like super cameras. Put into photography terms, the resolution of our eyes is 576 megapixels. The evolution of eyes. The first complex sets of eyes began to evolve sometime around 500 million years ago, within a handful of millions of years of the Cambrian explosion. They evolved and adapted for the individual needs of different species and their requirements. Early eyes are thought to have just been able to differentiate between light and dark and not much else different colored eyes. This may come as no surprise to you, but some people in the world were born with two different colored eyes. This is called heterochromia, and it's known that it's typically the result of an excess or lack of pigment in one eye. This condition is generally inherited and born in, although there are times where it's resulted from an injury or disease. Roughly six people in every thousand have heterochromia. More eye color. Eye color is dependent on your genetics, which determines how much or how little melanin your eyes receive. Unsurprisingly, the most common eye color in the world is brown, with 79% of the population sporting chocolatey eyes. The rarest eye color? Green. Only 2% of the world's population has green eyes, making them even more unique than you probably would have guessed. In between, there are blue eyes, which is 8-10% to of the world, and then there's hazel, which only 5% of the world has. Sneezing with eyes open. Now, it's been said that it's wholly impossible to sneeze with your eyes open, and while this is mostly true, some people can actually do it. The reason it's so hard to keep your eyes open when you sneeze is because the nose and eyes are both connected by cranial nerves. The stimulation travels up one of your nerves into your brain, and then it comes back down another to your eyelids, which, for most people, results in a blink. Try keeping your eyes open the next time you sneeze. You'll see. 2020. While many people love to brag about how they have 2020 vision like it makes them a superhero, the truth is that 2020 vision is just normal, average vision. Yes, many people can't claim to be lucky enough to have such perfect vision, myself included, but those with it aren't anything special. It literally just means that you can read the eye chart from 20 feet away. Whereas those with some eye issues might have 2050 vision. This means that that person can read an eye chart at 20 feet, that a person with 2020 vision can read at 50 feet, and so on. Two eyes for a reason. That's right, we have two eyes for a very real reason. While people with one eye still have depth perception and other ways to figure out how far away objects are, their perception is still impaired. This is because our eyes work together to figure out the distance of things from our faces. Each eye measures the distance of the object from itself, then the brain uses both measurements to compute just how far away said object is. It's kind of like triangulation, except we don't have to work at it. Our eyes just do it, automatically, by themselves. Dilating pupils. It's no secret that when we see something we like, our pupils dilate without our even knowing. How much, you may ask? Well, when we look at somebody that we're attracted to, our pupils may expand up to as much as 45%. This isn't always accurate though, as our pupils also dilate when we're afraid or ingesting certain, well, mind-altering substances. Just something to think about. Eyes of a liar. It's been said that those who are lying will avoid eye contact. And while this is probably true for some, it certainly is not true for all. Good and well-practiced liars, as well as those who think they're good liars, might make more eye contact than someone not lying. Some know that not making eye contact may give away their lie, so they'll overcompensate and make too much eye contact and hold gazes for too long. Women's eyes might be affected by pregnancy. 
With the various changes and the overall physical and mental toll a woman's body takes when she's pregnant, her eyes can unsurprisingly be affected as well. Many pregnant women experience issues with their eyesight. These issues are typically temporary and minor, like having excessively dry eyes or blurry vision, and they usually go away once she has her baby. Floaters Have you ever noticed that you see things cross your line of sight randomly and you don't quite understand what they are? Well, they're what's referred to as floaters, and unlike the pregnancy eye problems, floaters are permanent. They're typically made up of strands of protein that float around inside your eye's vitreous, which casts a shadow on your retina. The vitreous is entirely stagnant, so these floaters will stay in your eyes indefinitely. But not to fret, you can get surgery to fix them if you so choose. Smoking problems. As if you need yet another reason to quit smoking, smokers, we just thought we should mention that those who smoke are nearly twice as likely to suffer from dry eyes as non-smokers. This may come as no surprise though, we've probably all gotten smoke in our eyes at one point or another and boy, does it hurt. Tobacco smoke is known to irritate the eyes badly, and even those who get the smoke secondhand can be affected the sun and our eyeballs. It probably goes without saying, but the sun and its harmful UV rays can be pretty damaging to our eyes. There are many eye conditions like pterygia and cataracts, which are thought to be related to the eye's exposure to UV rays. It is relatively easy to ramp up the protection on your eyes though. You can wear caps that block the sun when you go outside, get some well-fitting, preferably wraparound sunglasses, or you could become a hermit and just stay indoors. Problem solved. Tears keep our eyes healthy. You know when you get something in your eye, be it dirt or dust or some other contaminant? What happens? Your eyes water, right? Well, that's precisely what they're meant to do, as tears are filled with antibodies that can help to fight infection, and they also help to clear anything that might find its way into your eyes. Without tears, our eyes would dry out and be prone to infection, which we probably wouldn't be all that worried about if they were already dried out, but still better than fingerprints. You know how no two sets of fingerprints are the same and how there's a lot in a fingerprint that's easily readable and can be tied back to one specific person? An iris has way more unique characteristics than a fingerprint. 256, actually, compared to a fingerprint's 40. No wonder why retinal scans are growing more commonly used than fingerprints for security purposes. Infrared light is used in retinal scanners to look at the unique pattern of blood vessels in your retina. No two patterns are ever the same, and even twins don't stand a chance at having the same blood vessel configuration. Super reflex. You may have noticed that your eyes are incredibly fast at perceiving any type of dangers that might befall them. When they detect an object is too close or is moving toward them too quickly, or if they detect a bright light coming their way, the eye automatically closes due to what's called the menace reflex or menace response. This is the same reflex that will make you turn your head, neck, or trunk of your body away from the perceived danger. Topsy-turvy. This is probably common knowledge to many, but did you know that we actually see the world upside down? The images come to our eyes in this wholly flipped fashion, and then our brain flips them around again so that we can make sense of them. This happens because we have a curved cornea, which light refracts off of and creates an upside down image on our retinas. Thankfully, our brains are smart enough to correct it, right? The cornea is different. What we mean is that it's different than any other tissue in our bodies, considering it is the only tissue which does not contain any blood vessels. Why? Because it needs to be clear so that it can correctly refract light onto our retinas. If there were a bunch of blood vessels running through it, it would mess with the light refraction and then our vision would be really funky. Astigmatism. We've all heard the word, but do any of us really know what it means? Astigmatism refers to the amount and shape of the curvature of our cornea. It's very common for people to have abnormally shaped corneas, and most of the time it isn't a severe problem. It can typically be corrected using toric lenses so that the person with the issue doesn't have to deal with constantly distorted vision. Blind spot. There is a small portion of the retina which isn't sensitive to light. This creates a little blind spot that's rarely, if ever, noticed, and it's called the punctum cacum. The reason we don't see it is that our brains use information from our other eye to fill in this gap and make sure we don't have a strange missing gap in our vision. Thank you, brain. Do you know where your blind spot is? If you don't, pause the video and look at this image to take a test.
diabetes, and eye testing. Those with type 2 diabetes commonly don't have many signs or symptoms, thus it's typically first noticed during an eye test. It causes minuscule hemorrhages that leak from blood vessels near the back of the eye that eye doctors can't really miss. This can cause harm to your retina and can even adversely affect your vision if it's bad enough. It affects 20% of people with type 2 diabetes and 40% of those with type 1. It's called diabetic retinopathy. Babies in black and white. When a baby is born, their ability to see color hasn't yet developed, so they see in black, white, and some shades of gray. This happens because some nerve cells in the brain and retina aren't completely developed yet. Their color vision comes about a week after birth, so they don't have to see a bland world for very long. We sure have learned a lot about our eyes already, and we still have one more awesome fact to go. But first, we'd like to ask the audience a couple of questions. First, can you manage to keep your eyes open without sneezing? I know I definitely can't. And second, let's talk eye color. My eyes are blue, but I'd like to hear from all of you guys. 1. Our eyes only see three colors. The average human only has three cones in their eyes, and each cone is sensitive to a different color. One is sensitive to green, one to blue, and one to red. The cones all work together to detect different combinations of light waves, which allows us to see millions of different shades and colors. Pretty cool, huh?